Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanola if you've never seen me before and you are definitely welcome to my channel. Uh, go ahead and press the subscribe button down below and make sure you turn on the notifications by clicking on that bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Today we are doing something a little different. Uh, it's not a product review, it's not a makeup application. I'll be talking to you guys about um, some of the products that I use and today I thought it would be basic of course to start with foundation right so I'll be showing you guys the all the foundations that I use and I'll be telling you guys which one is my favorite without any further ado let's get into this so here I have all the foundations that I use and I separated them in two types of foundation I guess uh, high-end foundations and the drugstore foundations and we're gonna start with drugstore foundations that I use Okay, first of all, don't judge the shape of my foundation. They don't look the best. Obviously, they're not new, new. They've been there, okay. First foundation is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I've had it for about three months now. It's a good foundation. I would recommend it if you're on a budget. It costs about, is it nine or twelve dollars? It's between, it's between nine and twelve dollars. It is a good foundation. It works with any type of skin. I, I myself, personally, I have a combination skin, so I pretty much don't really have a problem with oily or no oil foundations. So this is a pretty good foundation if you're looking for something affordable, and ColourPop is a great brand to have. So ColourPop, no filter. Up next is the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Okay, I like this foundation. Why? Because when I put this foundation on, I don't conceal, which means that I'll put this on and then I won't be putting any concealer on. I'll just set my face, put some blush and mascara, and I am done. Like, I'm not coming back. No. So this foundation is good when you're on the go for everyday makeup, and it's, it costs about like $10 too. So the Milani... Conceal plus perfect foundation and concealer. It's bomb if you want to slay every day and you don't you don't necessarily have the time. Imagine you going to work every day or you go to school every day, so you're like, oh, who's gonna beat this face for 30 minutes every day or an hour? Nobody. So with this, put this on, set your face, mascara, gloss, 15 minute bomb ass makeup. Okay, bomb, just bomb. So we also have the Black Opal True Color Foundation. It's a great um, pigmented full coverage foundation. If you're really looking for that coverage and you have time, you know, to blend it because it is a stick. So it is a stick. This one is quite dark, but it is a stick. So you have to very well like mix it. When I use it, I like to spray my face with it, and then so it's really moisturized and wet. So when you mix it, it kind of all blends out together perfectly. You guys are going to be happy about this video because it's not going to be a long video where I talk my life away, so that's a good thing. Last but definitely not least is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. Okay, this is an everyday foundation, super cheap, like this costs $6. Dollars. Don't tell me no, Manuela. I don't have money for makeup. Don't, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. This is six dollars, okay? And it's bomb. Like, honestly. And this is what I have on my face right now. I have this foundation on my face, okay? I don't care. I have plenty of other uh, high end products, but this is the foundation I'm wearing right now, okay? And I wear it in the shade 356. This is the best drugstore foundation you can get this is my favorite drugstore foundation this is I probably I probably bought already 10 of these because I love it so much it's cheap when I don't have money it's like I, I go with this like sometimes I'll, I'll be without any high-end foundations because I'll be like I'm on a budget and I always have this and you wouldn't know the difference because everything it just looks good it's just it just looks bomb okay period sis sis what are you doing Okay guys, so that was four foundations for um, drugstore foundations. Now we're moving on to high-end foundation, which means more expensive. Okay, first off, let's start with the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Oh my god, this was so talked about. Like, everybody talked about this foundation when it first came in, and I just got my hands on it like a month ago. And I have to say, I am not that impressed with this foundation. It's a good foundation. But I just, like, when I don't have any more of this, I'm not going to go and look for it. Like, if I have the opportunity to get it, I'll get it, but I won't go and look for it. Like, oh, I need it. No. It's a good foundation, but it just didn't convince me that I constantly need it in my makeup uh, routine or beauty 
whatever beauty box so good foundation you know not my top not my favorite but it's a good foundation to have okay so this foundation is a stick it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick um, I believe it was about it was between 25 to 28 dollars um, now I think about it this was a waste of money period okay first of all this is too small I don't know what was going through my head this is too small this is, this, is, this is like a lipstick. Why would I buy a $25 lipstick? This is too small. It's an okay coverage. I'm not a fan, honestly. I feel like this is one of the foundations that I regret buying, you know, and I, if it was darker, I would use it to contour, but it's just, I just wouldn't recommend anybody to buy it. I wouldn't buy this again. Matter of fact, I don't think it's ever gonna end because I don't even use it. So, might just give it to my cousin or somebody that wants it because I don't really want this foundation. So for me, this foundation is a no-no. Waste of money. Sorry, ABH. I love other products from ABH, but this one was just a no for me. Now, this is the Tarte Shape Tip Matte Foundation. This foundation, I love it. I love how matte it makes my skin look. When I put it on, I feel like I'm the chef. No, but when I, I really like this foundation, I just started using this foundation. And when I put it on, I feel like God just touched my face. You know what I mean? Like tart. Thank you. I love this foundation. Of course, everybody knows how renowned, how popular the concealers are. But I love this foundation. It really gives you that glow, that subtle glow. It's a matte foundation, but... It gives you everything you need, every coverage you will ever need. So this is definitely one of my favorite foundations. I love it. So last but not least, this is my favorite foundation, Too Faced Born This Way. Let me tell you the story about this foundation. This foundation was first made in, I think it was last year. Yeah, it was probably, yeah, it was last year. And when they first got this foundation out, they did not have my proper shade, which means that I had to go about two, two shades lighter than my normal skin tone, okay? And to make it work, I would mix it with a darker color, like another brand, another high-end foundation. To make it work, I would have to mix it. And, you know, that was a little sad, because the truth is, I didn't really want to be doing that. <laughs> it made me a little sad so I was using the foundation a lot but you know I just I was, I was always like oh there's some extra work with this foundation I have to mix mix and match it it's kind of annoying so when, it, when, when the first bottle I had finished I was like no I'm not gonna buy this foundation again they just need more shades and then the Lord the Lord is oh my god the Lord is amazing this year they came out with a broader foundation range like more more shades a better range and I was like thank you Jesus okay the end was a little forced but okay I came out with a better range and I was super 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 excited which Jackie Aina helped with I was super happy my shade in this is Hazelnut and I love let me tell you something I love this foundation Too Faced is one of my favorite brands out there and I love love this foundation like I feel like this foundation is just like it's a blessing this foundation is a blessing okay so and it's super it is full coverage it's buildable as well it's medium to full coverage but it's buildable and yo I just love it and this retails for $39 as well so for this you can get the Fenty Beauty and I recommend this Too Faced favorite 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 foundation right here so those are all my foundations, that's eight foundations. I hope if you are looking for a foundation to buy, whether it was drugstore or high-end, I helped you a little bit. Those are the products that I use on a daily basis. You know, sometimes I wear more drugstore makeup or and when I go out on the weekend, I like to wear high-end makeup. Uh, but right now it's a mix, it's a little bit of a mix of everything, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know down below if you want me, if you like this and you want me to do the same thing with uh, concealers and everything else um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel share like this video give this video a thumbs up okay and I will see you guys in my next video